The newly appointed Federal Commissioner for the National Commission for Refugees, Migrants and Internally Displaced Persons has promised to prioritize protection, provision and rehabilitation of refugees and internationally displaced persons in the country. Helen Osamide Ekins reports. The impact of natural and man-made disasters, as well as ethnic and religious conflicts, have made many Nigerians internally displaced persons in their fatherland. The quest for greener pastures outside the country have also landed many migrants in the wrong hands, turning them into refugees. There is need for urgent interventions as the number of victims increase on a daily basis. The newly federal commissioner for the National Commission for Refugees, Migrants and Internally Displaced Persons resumed office and there are challenges he must take on from inception. He pledges his commitment to prioritizing the needs of persons of concerns. Those who have been despaired, let them always bring life into, their, into themselves. I think this is the cardinal principle of this organization. And I want to assure you that I will join out with you so that we allow these people who are vulnerable, who have nobody to assist them except Allah and government. And the government is this organization representing the parallel people of Nigeria to assure them that we are going to put our hands on deck so that we succeed. Make sure we develop them. The commissioner outlines his five key agenda aimed at achieving the commission's objectives strategic partnership and collaboration. Uh, number two, efficient policy formulation and implementation, protection, orientation, and proper rehabilitation of persons of concern will be given very strong priority while we move in this journey. And lastly, we have to protect and uh, protect Nigerians' image within and outside. Mr. Ahmed, until his appointment by the President Bola Tunubu, served Nasarawa State as a secretary to the government, commissioner for local government and chief fancy affairs, and as the commissioner for education. Helen Osamede Ekins, TVC News, Abuja.